there's no denying that nighttime in Rust sucks. If you don't have NVGs, you feel like you're blind half the time, which makes doing anything at night early game a big task. But today all that kinda changes because I will be showing you how to make your night go from looking like this to this. Bravo six. Going dark. And just to clarify right off the bat, no, this is not a cheat of any kind. You're just adjusting the gamma settings for your monitor on the fly, which is completely allowed within the game. I've seen a few people using the trick of using the gamma slider on DCCW or even just going through the NVIDIA control panel and doing it in there. But both of those require you to tab out of the game and they take a little bit of time. And if you're going to be playing the game for hours on end, you don't want to have to be tabbing out and doing that time and time again. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can simplify it down to a couple of hotkeys that will switch between gamma profiles on the fly so that you don't even have to tab out of the game to switch back and forth. To do this, I'm going to be using an ancient version of Rivetuner. And also I've done a virus check on this. You can do one yourself if you want, but it's totally safe. It's just like from 2009. So it's gonna look super old and weird. With all that out of the way, let's get right into the tutorial. So first we're just gonna download it from this link here that I'm gonna give you in the description. And then you're gonna go to wherever you downloaded it and you're just gonna unzip the whole thing into its own folder here. And then we're just gonna go into that folder and open up the EXC to install Rivetuner. We're just going to click yes on the little update prompt right there and just go through this install, leave everything as it is and just let everything install. And once it's done installing, we can go ahead and open it up. It's going to take a minute to do this building databases thing. Just let that do its thing. Also, when you're going to open it up, make sure that you don't open up Rivetuner statistics server. Make sure you open the one that's just called Rivetuner because if you open the other one, it's gonna come up with this thing that says it's not supported software or whatever, but that's expected. We just want the Rivetuner. So once we get in here, we're gonna be greeted with this screen and on the main tab here, we're just gonna go click on customize right here. Click on the little rainbow screen. And then the very first thing we're gonna do is just save this color scheme because this is like our default that we want it to look like normally during daytime or whatever. So we'll just save that and call it normal gamma. And then at this point, I would personally recommend that you get into like a creative Rust server or something where you can just have it be nighttime or like control what time it is, because it's really helpful to like actually be in the game while you're adjusting the sliders so that you can get it to exactly how you want it to be. For this video, I'm actually just going to be in my own server that I made that I'm hosting from my own PC. And I could make a video showing you guys how to do that too, if that's something you'd be interested in. It was surprisingly pretty easy, um, so I could definitely show that off as well. But anyways, I'm just going to make it nighttime here so that I can go ahead and adjust my sliders to get it how I want it to be. And in the recording here, it ends up looking like kind of grainy, but... When I'm playing in game, it doesn't actually look like that on my monitor setup at all. I think it just ended up looking kind of weird in the recording. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and adjust the gamma slider here. And I also like to fiddle with the contrast and the brightness ones a little bit. I don't mess with them too much, but I mean, it's all personal preference. Just kind of play with them a little bit and get it to how you like it. And then once you get it to the point where you like it and it looks a lot better at nighttime for you, just gonna go click save down here again. And then we're gonna call this one high gamma. And then once we got that saved, we're just gonna click okay to go out of here. And now we're gonna go over to the launcher tab. And we're gonna click on this green little plus icon down here. Just make sure regular item is checked. Then we're gonna call this first one normal gamma. And the associated hotkey here, this is where you can choose what you want the hotkey to be. So this is going to be the hotkey for switching it back to looking normal, like when it's daytime or whatever. For myself, for this video, I'm just going to do keypad 7, but you can do like one of the F keys, whatever you want it to be. All right, and then once we got that, we're going to go down here and check this associated color scheme here. And in this drop down menu here, we're just going to want to make sure that we have our normal gamma checked. And once everything looks good, we're just going to go ahead and press OK. And then we should see our little normal gamma in the list here and we're just going to click on that plus icon one more time and again we're going to go with regular item and then we're going to call this one high gamma 
And then associated hotkey, again, can be whatever you want. It can't be the same as the one for switching back to normal, so you are gonna need to have two associated hotkeys for this, but I think it's definitely worth it. So I'm just gonna do keypad eight for this video, but again, you can do like function keys, whatever you want it to be. And then we're just gonna click this associated color scheme again. And then in the drop down menu, we're just gonna select the high gamma that we made earlier and then just click okay. And then we should see both of those in that little list right there. And I would also recommend going over to settings and just making sure that you check send to tray on close and run at windows startup. If you don't have send to tray on close, then it's gonna fully close when you press okay or X out of this window and it won't do anything in game when you're pressing your hotkeys. So I just like to have that checked. And I also just like to always have it running because it's a really light program and I play Rust a lot. Once we've got all that set up, we are pretty much good to go. I'm just gonna show you a few examples of what it looked like before and what it looked like after applying these settings so that you can get an idea of what to expect here. So I think this is definitely worth doing. Definitely helps me see at night way better. Definitely share this with your friends and your clan mates, whoever you play with. Yeah, that's basically all there is to it, guys. If you have any questions or problems with it, just uh, let me know down in the comments below and I'll definitely try to help you out as soon as I can. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Got more rough stuff coming soon. See you later.